solution to the problem that we talked about on Saturday. I did a little bit of reading online, and um, I think uh, I think we can make this work. We don't want to use the paragraph rule um, option in the paragraph style like you have set here, it turns out. Uh, we're going to create this in a different way. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, just turn off that paragraph rule in your paragraph style. We're actually going to be using a character style applied to a tab character that we're going to type in. Uh, you'll have to manually type in a tab character at the end of each of your date lines here. But we'll apply a character style to that tab character that'll um, create that same look, but it will make it so that the spacing is even, uh, or the spacing is consistent dependent on the length of the date, uh, like we talked about. So to do that, we first need to set a tab stop in our paragraph style. So I've come into the tabs tab, and I have the right tab selected. And what I'm going to do is just click right above this ruler, and you can see when I do, you get a live view of where that tab stop will be in your text frame. So that's really handy. I want to drag it all the way over to the end of the text frame, uh, which happens to be, looks like about 24p6. So I'll just let the mouse go there. Um, if It can get kind of tricky dragging the tab stop over when you get to the very end of your margin there when you get into this gray area. If you drag it into this gray area, sometimes InDesign will think you made a mistake and it won't actually apply the tab stop. So if it's easier, you can always just type 24p6 right into this x value here and your tab stop will be set. So that's good. <clears throat> the next thing we want to do is create a character style that will show exactly what um, that stroke will look like. So if I come into my character styles, I'll create a new one, I'll open it up, and I'm going to call it underline. You're obviously welcome to call it whatever you like. And I'll come into the underline options tab, so that's really handy. We want to turn the underline on, so we'll check that, and we'll just apply the same attributes that you had applied in your paragraph rules section of the date paragraph style to this new character style. So I think you had a weight of 8, uh, I found that an offset of negative 5 works well here, uh, and I believe you had this thick, thin um, type for your stroke. However, of course, you're welcome to play with these however you want, however you feel looks best. So we'll just hit OK there. <coughs> Excuse me. And once I've done that, if I come into one of the dates here, I'll type a tab character, and you notice that because I have my tab stop set to the end of this, um, text frame or to the edge of my margin, hitting tab once takes me all the way across there, which is exactly what I want. You definitely don't want to be hitting multiple tabs and then a couple of spaces to try to line these up. So setting up that tab stop in your paragraph style is critical. I'll just highlight the tab character and I'll click on my new paragraph style called underline. And when I do that, I get that same effect. Now this might be a little bit too close to the date for you, um, so what you can do is just go ahead and add a space there, or you can add a couple of different kinds of spaces. If I come up to the um, type menu, you can go to insert white space, and you can insert different, uh, you can insert spaces of a bunch of different sizes, so you can play around with these. Um, let's just say we want to insert an end space, which is one space that's the width of an end dash, or of the letter N in this particular font. This is going to be a nice keystroke to know, Shift-Command-N, because that'll help me apply it faster, but for now I'll just click here. <clears throat> and I've applied an N space, and then I have a tab that has that character style applied to it. So if you uh, like that particular look, what you would do is just go through and apply that N space. So I'll hold down Shift-Command-N, and then the tab. And then you want to highlight the tab, and to do that quickly you can just hold down the Shift key, and the back arrow, and then apply this underline um, character style. So it'll be slightly tedious because you'll have to do that for every line, but I think <clears throat> you'll see that it goes pretty quick, um, especially if you use your key commands. And you can actually come in and set a key command or a hotkey for your underline character style. So let's just say I want to make that shift command one. I'll set it in the shortcut field there. And now this becomes a pretty quick, uh, a pretty quick just series of keystrokes that really isn't too bad to apply. So um, anyway, I think that will will solve your issue, and uh, I hope that helps.